school closures to cancelled hockey games. Southeastern Saskatchewan is bracing for what weather experts say could be one of the worst blizzards in decades. That's the unpredictability of Saskatchewan is that, you know, you might think you're in spring, but here comes winter back. In Weyburn, crews are on standby, returning to winter mode. We had already moved into spring work, so a lot of it is actually going back and switching our graders, our equipment back for snow removal, because obviously we'd taken the blades off to prepare to, you know, do more road maintenance. For the south around Estevan, city crews are also ready for whatever Mother Nature throws at them. In 2011, we went through that flood and it was all hands on deck. So uh, most of the people we had there, we still have. So uh, we feel pretty confident that we can weather a pretty serious storm. Along the Saskatchewan-Manitoba border, the town of Mooseman is setting up shelters and stocking up on food for those who might be stranded in the storm. Though not expected to be hit as hard as the southeast, the city of Regina is also preparing for the worst. Whether it's gonna, the snow is going to stick around for two months or two days, we, we plow the same, we, we plow the snow, we get it off the roads. Sask Power is on standby as well to respond to the expected power outages, and the Saskatchewan Public Safety Agency is urging people to stay home. But if they are traveling... Check the highway hotline for the current highway conditions, because as you know, they can change fairly quickly depending on the storm. Public safety officials recommend drivers keep an emergency kit in their car filled with warm things like clothes and snacks. And for some reason you get stranded, their biggest piece of advice, stay put. Dane Patterson, CBC News, Saskatoon.